you cannot be a good woodworker without having clamps here. Um, so let's talk about clamps today. Um, these pipe clamps are very popular um, and um, and I think for what they are they work great. You can always get a longer pipe and just take out the, the clamp bits and attach them back on the threaded pipe and uh, you get yourself a longer pipe, a longer clamp or shorter clamp. And I think that is excellent to have these uh, doing that. But otherwise they're just heavy, they're bulky. Um, the, they uh, they weigh down your uh, workpiece if it's a tall workpiece you're afraid it could topple because it's top heavy like if you're clamping down an end table or something uh, during glue up and they leave this black residue uh, on the workpiece sometimes and I don't like that the ones that I really like here are these uh, box clamps um, they're uh, simple uh, simple lightweight clamps and then uh, and they work really well uh, uh, they hold the piece square they can um, also stand up uh, square the Harbor Freight sells them pretty inexpensive which is another great feature of these clamps and they, they put a nice force on the piece the clamps originally come uh, uh, like this which is uh, they're hollow in the middle they're just folded aluminum uh, and they're hollow in the middle and they're pretty lightweight and to give it a little extra uh, uh, weight and uh, stability um, there's a way of uh, putting some um, some plywood or piece of wood in there uh, that just gives it uh, a lot of sturdiness so uh, I'm going to uh, I've already done that a while ago for two of my clamps but I need to dress all of them up because I'm getting into more uh, joinery now with this bench and I don't need and I don't like having the, the metal marks uh, of the clamps and I want them to be a lot uh, sturdier too so we're going to do that today. What I've done is I've taken a sheet of uh, plywood I think this is uh, just under a 30 second under uh, an inch uh, and this seems to work out okay the thickness needs to come down by a 16th because it is a little too tight in the middle so I'm going to do that right now. That should do it. Shrink it down just a little bit in the size. It's a little bit in the width here. Not really enjoying working with the plywood, but this really you don't want to use any other kind of wood for this thing. Need the final length so I can um, cut this thing off. Okay, this should be it, I hope. There, this already feels a lot more substantial. The only thing that is left to do now is to get the uh, the jaws of the clamp to be a little more protective because these are metal and they will hurt. 
the piece of wood that I'm using. So I've already cut a few of these out. I have uh, four clamps, I need eight, so I need two more. Use these pieces to mark them. And I saw. Okay, that's done. Now it's the easy part. All right, and I'm just going to use some super glue. You could use double sided tape, I guess. All right, so super glue is in and just going to tighten them up and leave them as is for a while and work on the next one. Okay, so that's how easy that is, uh, just retrofitting these clamps. Uh, now they're a lot sturdier, a lot stronger. They feel a lot more substantial and uh, with, uh, with, the, uh, with the guards on, uh, with these packing on, uh, they are not going to mark any of my wood pieces as I'm clamping them down. I feel very confident about that. So that's the end of that video. Uh, if you do this to your clamps, uh, you should let me know in the comments. If you don't, do them. They really work. And uh, share this video with your fellow friends, woodworkers, who could use this, uh, this uh, method to uh, help them out and um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet like and share this video with your friends uh, i am on facebook and instagram also twitter uh, find those links in the doobly-doos and i will see you in the next video